Hi, this is Ron in Eternalis. This video will examine how InstantHookups.com combines with scam websites, shell companies, and a concealed payment company to collaborate and steal money from people. As I go through this, I encourage you to go to any of the places I do and verify it for yourself. Craig Meet Friend is a typical scam website. There are undoubtedly many like it. Many ways that Instant Hookups gets you to sign up. This is just one of them. Craig Meet Friend is not the focus of this video, but we'll take a quick look at it. Notice that there is the repeated use of the word free. You will also see some familiar icons. These stolen brand icons are used for social validation. Something familiar tends to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, well, Craig's Meet Friend has never been on any of them. Since there is a visible link to the terms and conditions, I want to check to see if there are any charges involved. And here we see we've been transferred to instanthookups.com. The only thing that discusses fees is this paragraph, which says you might have been charged. There is nothing here to give us any reason to doubt the word free. Okay, so what Craig Meet Friend is doing is hiding the fact that you are being transferred to another site. Before we look at it, let's first go through what a customer of the website would see if they were to be signing up for Craig Meet Friend. Here we see the credit card entry screen. Notice it still says free, and there really doesn't seem to be much to it. I want to take a look at the source code, and what I'm looking for is an iframe command. The iframe command presents content from and transfers your information to another website without you knowing it. Here it is. You see here a different website. This is some sort of pay-per-click generator. This one will redirect you to instanthookups.com. It also acts as a buffer between Instant Hookups and the scam website. This provides a plausible deniability to Instant Hookups and the other companies involved, which you'll see shortly. Over here you see commands that control the size of the window and prevent you from scrolling inside the window. Scammers need to do that to make sure you don't see what's really there. So I'm going to click on it and see where it leads. You see the same credit card entry part you saw before. But over here on the right we have all sorts of things you couldn't see before. Let's walk through this. We have instanthookups.com premium service for $49.99 a month after a one-day trial period. Hookup Cloud for a $195 two-day trial period and then $39.95 per month. And a pornography service for $29.95 after a 14-day trial period. Of course, since you don't know the chargers are there, you don't know to cancel the trial period. They might send an email, which could easily end up in a spam folder. Even if you do get an email, if you're not looking for the charges, you could easily miss them. Next, if you look at this section on Rocket Pay, it's actually a checkbox. What this is doing is giving Rocket Pay permission to keep your personal and credit card information. They're kind enough to have it already checked for you. Rocket Pay is a service of Rocketgate.com. This is a small, anonymous payment processor and customer service firm. They keep their internet registry anonymous. This is extraordinarily unusual for a company that is handling your personal and financial information. As a comparison, if you go to PayPal, SquareUp, or Zelle, you'll find an administrative contact information, the location of the company, and that sort of thing. And back up here, you see what appears on your credit card, a gibberish looking name that is used to bill you discreetly. So if all that isn't good enough, check this out. Let's do another sign up. C 
See how the name has changed? The last one was Check OIT. This one is Rare Depot. Each time you click through, it rotates to a different gibberish billing site. If you look at these websites, they are simple one-page websites owned by small shell companies. I'll show you what they look like in a few minutes. Let's do it again. Another gibberish name. And another. Okay, you get the idea. Now, before we get to the gibberish billing sites, Craig Meet Friend isn't the focus of this video, but since we're here, let's take a look at how these sites operate. I'm going to do a reverse image lookup for one of the ladies here on the site. First, I am using TinEye, which is generally my preferred tool for a reverse image search. Here we have a hit from Imager. It's just an image sharing website, so no big deal here. Now I'll do a Google reverse image search. Here we see that this image is shared across a lot of sites. Each one of these sites you see highlighted looks exactly the same as Craig's meet friend. It's just one shell scam site copied from the other. Very common in this uh, world of scammers. Okay, now let's look at the privacy policy of instanthookups.com. This is a very well-crafted, cover-your-ass type of privacy policy. The interesting thing is right here. They are saying they don't handle your credit card formation. Okay, that's reasonable. But this part, your credit card processor only. This is grossly misleading. You don't have a credit card processor. The way card processing works is that you give your card to the merchant, and then the merchant, that's the gibberish name, has possession of your personal and financial information. They present that information in charge to Visa or MasterCard or whatever for their reimbursement. Of course, they can hire somebody to do that for them, like most small companies do and should do. In this case, they all seem to use the RocketGate service, RocketPay. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull up a couple of these gibberish sites. I'm speeding through this, but I encourage you to do the same thing I am doing with the site that appeared on your credit card statement. First, I am looking for privacy policy, terms of use, etc. There are none. Here I want you to see the company name. I'll show you how to find more information on them in a minute. So here's the interesting part. Each of these sites that has a live support function, all of them link to RocketGate. I'll take a quick look at another one. There are a lot of these gibberish websites. I can't look at all of them, but I have looked at 20 or so. They're all the same. Okay, let's review what we've been through here. We have a scam website that hides a sign up to instanthookups.com. By the way, there is no Craig Meet Friend service. It's just a facade. There are more than $121 in charges. That's per month. The most alarming thing is that you really do not know who has your personal and financial information. I suspect that this is only Rocketgate and that the gibberish company is not even a pass-through, but we really don't know who has this information. Why the owner of Instant Hookups routes their transactions this way is still a bit of a mystery. It doesn't look good, doesn't feel right. The owners of these websites are small one, two person companies. Most of them are in the UK, some in Cyprus and a few in the United States. We do not know who put up the facade Craig Meet Friend. Rocketgate is anonymous. As noted before, this is highly unusual for someone who has your personal and financial information. Company's House has information on any of these companies that are listed in the UK. You can find the directors under the People tab, but to find the real owners, you need to look at the filing, look at the incorporation papers. 
Usually you will find one or two shareholders that are the real owners. I have looked for some privacy policy in all of the websites and have not found any. These are small offshore companies that do not have any accountability. This is a high risk situation and you are at risk for identity theft. If a data breach happened all along the way here, you would probably never know it until you started getting calls from bill collectors you've never heard of. So if you have been charged by one of these companies, here's what you need to do now. First, cancel your credit card. I know this is going to be a pain, but there is no entity involved here that you want to have your personal and financial information. Cancel your membership. Hopefully that's obvious. You don't want anything to do with any of these companies. Now, if you knew you were going to be charged and you have to pay the bill, even if you forgot about a trial period membership, you have to pay it. If you did not know you were going to be charged, then it's a different situation. You can dispute the charges. I don't recommend contacting these companies because that gives them more information about you. And in my opinion, it is not reasonable to continue to work with somebody who has defrauded you. I suggest just working with your bank, but that's up to you. My website has information on how to dispute the charges, your rights as a credit card holder, and sample dispute letters. There's no charge or sign up for any of this, but to the extent you can support the site, that's greatly appreciated. That's it. Hopefully this is helpful. Until next time, stay safe.